Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my attempt at making apple cider without a recipe. I forgot to start filming before I cut up the apples, but here I'm just slicing roughly about six Honeycrisp apples. Looking back, I probably would have preferred to use a mixture of apples, maybe add in some Granny Smiths or... I knew the oranges went into apple cider, but I wasn't sure how much, so I just went with a 3 to 1 ratio for every 3 apples, added one orange, and it just seemed right to me to do so. These were kind of small oranges, I'm not sure the variety, but they were also very sweet, just like the Honeycrisp apples, so I wish that I would have added something more tart to the cider, but it still worked out fine. I'm just trying to mix everything together in the pot so that the apples and oranges are evenly distributed. Like I said, because the apples and oranges were both so sweet, I wanted to add in a little bit of tartness, so I decided to add in some lemon juice. And here is the pot. I just added water enough to fill it to the top and put it on high heat until it boiled, as you can see here. And once it started to boil, I decided to turn the heat down to about medium and let it simmer. I decided to cover it for a bit to make the cooking process just go a little bit faster. Boiling, even though it was on medium heat so I did, decided to turn it down and I added in the spices after it had been about an hour that it had been simmering. I ended up using two and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of ground nutmeg and I also added in half a cup of sugar but I now looking back at it would not recommend adding the sugar and we'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm just removing the apples and oranges from this juice that we've created and putting them into a different pot using a slated spoon. And once this is done, I actually decided to remove the oranges because at this point I'd been taste testing it a lot and decided that there was just too much citrus flavor and didn't want that to cook anymore with the apples and I didn't want the juice to get mashed up with the apples after this. So now that we can add the pot of apples, I started mashing them up just to squeeze out any more juice and apple flavor out of them that I could. And once that was done and it was mashed up almost to a applesauce consistency, I put it into a strainer to kind of squeeze out the liquid that I wanted. Um, I think this would have been better to use a cloth, like a cheesecloth or something, rather than a strainer because I still had a lot of juice left in the apples and I couldn't press too hard or as you can see in the bottom, little bits of apple started trying to fall through as well as the juice. So if you had a cheesecloth, definitely go for that instead of a strainer. And also whenever I tried to strain the end result, there was still orange pulp left in it. Overall, it looked like apple cider, but it didn't really feel or taste like apple cider. I think had I been able to use more spices like clove or just throw in some allspice or ginger, that it would have turned out better. And also, as I mentioned before, I think the half a cup of sugar that I added was a huge mistake 
because this turned into more of a syrup than it did a liquidy drink. I actually used it to add into some coffee and it was quite delicious, but this definitely was not a true apple cider and next time I'll probably try to follow a recipe, but you live and you learn and I had fun making it and making this video, so if you want an apple syrup, you can follow this recipe that I kind of threw together, but otherwise, and you want some apple cider, maybe go Google that because I don't know. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.